So you've been tasked to create a main menu scene or other UI element. You spend hours crafting beautiful buttons, backgrounds, texts, and you end up with this. There are tons of labels and it's pretty easy to get lost. The solution is simple. We need some icons. Pictograms like that allow you to quickly find your desired option without even reading a label. What's more, they are even more valuable to your young audience or anyone who doesn't understand language in your game. See that symbol? Everyone knows that's a settings icon. Something is locked in your game? Use this one. Having trouble understanding the language of the game? Check out this globe that represents language options. The list goes on and on. In this video, you will learn how to find the best icons for your game completely for free. Then I will show you how to import them into Unity and what are the best placement options for them. Let's go! So let's start with my scene. As you can see, here in the middle we have a few options representing a main menu scene for some imaginary football game. Above that, there are also some additional buttons which we'll leave for now. My idea is to give each of those blocks in the middle a big icon representing what this option does. Before we'll go online to start hunting for some icons, let's take a notepad and write down all the icons we need with some ideas what can represent them. So here for example, finding an icon for the quick match sounds like a hard task, but then what do you associate with the word quick or fast? For me, that would be a rabbit because of its speed, or just a stopwatch which allows you to quickly measure the amount of time. Similarly, career. If you google for that word, then you can see steps, ladders or briefcases. Be sure to write down all of your ideas in the notes. Then, time to search online for some icons. You can try to google them and go to the image results, but trust me. This mess of different icon styles, watermarks and no information about the license is a nightmare to work with. I will show you two great websites instead. The first one will be flaticon.com. This website offers thousands of great free icons. Here you can start searching for your desired one. In my case, I will just type stopwatch. When you go to the results, please ignore those ads for the paid services. Just scroll a bit to the bottom and you see a wide range of beautiful icons. Then you can even specify what kind of art style you are interested in. I will select a gradient, outline. You might already see your desired icon, but I'm still looking. Let's go to the second page and yeah, I like this one. Let's click on it. Here you can see multiple icon variations and even some options to modify it. But let's focus on the right sidebar. Here you have a download button and information about the license. As you can see, you are allowed to do basically anything you want with it as soon as you mention this website and the author of these icons in your credits list. So now let's press download PNG and select free download. Great. We can now check off this quick match from the list. Of course, now I should go back and start searching for other icons, but because I really like this art style, I would love to stick with it. If you scroll down, you can see that this icon is part of the stationary pack, which has those icons, and the graphic style is called basic gradient gradient style. If you click see more right here, you can see all the icons with the similar design and you can even search only for this style. So now I will search for the other icons on my list, but first let me tell you about the sponsor of this video. Core is a new gaming platform which allows you to play, create and share your own games with people around the world. There is a vast library with thousands of free music, sound and art assets that will speed up your level design and allow you to create your own games without writing a single line of code. Of course, as a more advanced creator, you can also build games from scratch by creating your own game logic in Lua and making your own 3D models. If you ever dreamed about creating your own multiplayer gameplay, Core takes care of that for you. 
There is a built-in multiplayer, so you don't have to worry about multiplayer networking and setting up servers. What's more, you can also make money with your games through the Core Perks program, which shares 50% of the revenue with creators. Many of them have been able to find great financial success with the help of the Perks program. I myself found Core as a great and quick prototyping tool and a fun way to reimagine content shared by other creators to come up with some new ideas. Use the link in the video description to download Core for free and start creating your own game. Big thanks to Core for sponsoring this video. Ok, so here are all the icons I downloaded and now it's time to add them to our Unity project. Drag in all your downloaded images into the graphics folder in Assets. In my UI, I will modify the first box so that the text will go a bit down and the new image will be created here in the center. Then I simply assign our stopwatch icon as the source image. Looks way better. Now I will simply duplicate this first box 5 times and replace text and icons for each one of them. Looks perfect. Now time for those small buttons at the top. As you can see, we have options like chat, friends and quit. For such small elements, detailed icons like the ones in the middle might not be quite readable. That's why I would like to show you a different icon source. This time we'll go to the Google Fonts website. But not for a new typeface, but for icons. You can find them here at the top. I think you can probably recognize many of them, because they are in multiple Google apps, both on mobile and desktop. All are completely open source, so you can use them in your project. Not only you can find almost every icon for your needs using this powerful search, but you can also select one of those five styles. Outlined, Filled, Rounded, Sharp and Two-Tone. I myself prefer the rounded icons and now I will search for the first icon to find, Chat. Notice that you don't need to be very specific about the naming. You can just describe what action you'd like to represent. So bubble, conversation and chat will provide similar results. For me, this icon is perfect, so I will select it. Then let's change some settings. I will set the density to X2 to make it larger and color to white. Finally, to download this file, click PNG at the very bottom. Normally, I would suggest you to download SVG since it's a far more superior format for icons. Check out this example with the same icon in SVG and PNG. At first, they might look similar, but if you zoom in, you can see that PNG starts showing pixels, while SVG is still sharp. It's because it saves mathematical information about the shape. Unfortunately, at the time of recording this video, the vector graphics package is still in preview and I myself couldn't make it work. If you're watching it after a few years or months, check out the comments section if maybe something has changed regarding that. But now we'll continue importing our normal PNG icons into the Unity project. Here are all the ones I've selected from Google website. This time I will show you a bit more advanced way to format those buttons properly to achieve a nicely placed icon next to the button text. So as you can see, this is an object with a text inside of it. I will now create a UI image as another child of the button, make it a bit smaller, move it a bit to the left and assign a correct icon. As you can remember, I asked you previously to download a wide version of the image. It's because that way you can change its color to basically anything you'd like. In this case, let's say this teal one. If that would be a black image, you won't be able to change its color at all. Now, it looks about right, but imagine if later on you'd like to change button text to chat with others. That would require you to move the icon manually to the left each time. Fortunately, there is a simple trick to fix that. Click on a button and here in the inspector at the very bottom select Add Component and search for Horizontal Layout Group. Click on it. This element will allow us to automatically arrange elements inside of a button. 
Now make sure that control child size is selected for both width and height and contrary child force expand unselected for both width and height. Then change the child alignment to middle center. That starts to look about right. Maybe you also need a bit of spacing, so I will type 8 pixels, but we still need to tweak our icon a bit. So click on the image in hierarchy and add a new component called layout group. Here in the preferred width and height, type in a number to make the image a bit smaller and to set its size independent from the layout group that controls it. That's perfect. Now simply duplicate this button two more times, change icons and texts for each case, and here it is. A great UI with icons that represent what each of the buttons do. Don't forget to check out Core, which is completely free. Use the link in the description to get started. And that's it. If you'd like to continue your Unity adventure, be sure to check out my other tutorials shown on the screen. As always, thanks a lot to my awesome patrons that support this channel. See you soon!